Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm excited. I'm about to watch the trailer for the new Flash movie. Super pumped about it. I'm a big comic book DC fan. I like Marvel too, but I have a tendency, I think, to like DC characters a little more. I haven't heard a whole lot about this movie yet, other than I think they're using the Flashpoint comic book series as reference. Uh, I don't know how heavily influenced it will be, but that's exciting to me because that's actually one of my favorite uh, comic arcs that I've collected and read. So it's interesting to see what timelines show up, which characters. I, you know, most people already know by now that Michael Keaton is in it as Batman, as well as Ben Affleck, and Supergirl's in the movie, so I'm hoping that we get to see all of those people in the trailer. Uh, I think it's like a teaser trailer, so I'm not entirely sure what the story is going to be overall, and I'm, I'm interested to see what they're going to try, like if this movie is going to influence how they're going to go about all of their DC superhero films from this point on. I don't know if this is more of like a one-off or or if they're just going to make more Flash movies within the setting of this story or if it's going to connect all to all the other movies. I, I don't really know what it's going to be like exactly, but there's a lot of potential which is exciting. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Tell me something. You can go anywhere you want, right? Any timeline. Looks like Wayne Manor. Oh my gosh. And that's Michael Keaton's voice. I think. Ooh. I like that suit Why so far. Let's stay. It's like to say this one. You change the future. And you change the past. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh yes. That Are you in? What? Is that it? Is that it? Oh my god. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. Okay. Wow. I didn't realize it was going to be such a short teaser. It is cool. I like that they showed like different like flash suits. They looked really cool. They, I think in the background, it was kind of hard to see. I'll, I'll watch it again multiple times. But at the near the end, and when he asks if you, are you in, I think there's another version of flash behind him. And there was Supergirl briefly like. We didn't get to see a lot, of, a lot of action or anything, but it was cool to see multiple characters. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that was Wayne Manor at the beginning, Batman narrating, and dude, the cowl. The cowl was sick. I, and like, if, if you know me, uh, I Batman's just my absolute favorite. And I grew up watching the Michael Keaton Batman films. That cowl, the, the length of the ears, everything iconic. Like I had his action figures like I had like one of those bigger dolls of him like though like that's nostalgia that's just like super exciting and then obviously the tarp at the end totally the Batmobile also it's funny because I think obviously they're playing into the jokes that he's made about the Batcave and uh, the Batmobile in the other films that he's been in so far so there's not obviously a lot revealed other than what I've already thought slash what's already known, but that's okay. At least they showed something. I'm pretty sure this trailer was released for DC Fandom, so they do their best to like at least show you what they're working on, even if things aren't completed, which I think is super cool. So I would have liked to obviously seen a lot more, but it does get me excited for sure. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you a DC fan? Are you a Marvel fan? I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, if you like this kind of content, share it. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see. Share it with your other friends who are into this kind of stuff. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. 
and I'll see you in the next video.